Now, just to wrap things up, Joe, um, we've been playing this over the quarantine period with our guests. Um, it's the quarantine quiz. So it's 10 questions. Some are footy related. Some are just completely random <coughs> general knowledge. Um, I'll give you our leaderboard at the moment. So, Al- Oh, he'd know the, he'd know the leader. You'd know the leader. So uh, at the bottom, Alex Johnson from Sydney got two right. So that's, that's the low bar. <laughs> uh, then... Then you've got Sandy Roberts, Dennis Armfield, Russell Robertson, Brad Saul. I've got four. Alan Tuvey from Collingwood got five. And uh, Glenn Manton, who you would know, got six. So Glenn's Glenn's, uh, Glenn's set the bar. So you've got ten questions here. So I'll start you with a footy one. Question one. In the 1990s, who was the only player to win a Brownlow and Grand Final in the same year, in the 90s era? A Brownlow and a Grand Final in the same year? Yep. Only one player did it. Gavin Wanganay. That is correct. Well done. Well done. I should know that one, should I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit worried there. I was like, oh, shit, Jack. Uh, question two. Mr. White, Mr. Orange, Mr. Blonde, and Mr. Pink are the main characters from which famous film in 1992? Reservoir Dogs. Bang. Oh, he's, he's off to a blonde. Glenn's in his sights. Here we go. Glenn's in his sights. All right. Question three. Coles Bay, as in Coles like the supermarket, Coles Bay is located in which state or territory of Australia? Coles Bay. I should know this. I'm in logistics, mate. I know most places in Australia. (laughs) Coles Bay. Oh, no idea. Let's let's, let's let's, let's, let's say Victoria. Incorrect. It was Tasmania. Okay. Question four. Which horse won the 1999 Melbourne Cup? And he's also the name of an Indian curry. Uh, I know nothing about horse racing, mate. And I hate Indian curry. <laughs> <laughs> have a guess. Oh, I'm trying to. I've got no idea, mate. No idea. No, yeah. uh, the answer was Rogan Josh. Rogan oh, Josh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Question five. Travelling at 343 mm. metres per second is the speed of what? So flight. No, speed of sound. Oh, speed of sound. sound. Speed of sound. Oh. One or the other. Here we go. Question six. Uh, what year did Fremantle play their first ever AFL game? I reckon it was 1990. No, it was a bit later than that. It was 95. Mm-hmm. 95. I just, I just <laughs> see the AFL emblem on their Freo Docker shirt, and I thought 1990 was the year AFL started. So, okay. anyway. Question. At least I got off to a good start, mate. That's yeah, amazing. that's right. One more and you won't be last, so it's all good. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> let's see, let's see how, how well you know your, uh, your cartoons on TV. Question seven. In the TV show Family Guy, what is the name of Peter Griffin's next-door neighbour who is also a pilot? <laughs> I can picture him. I love that show. It's so funny. Um, He's a bit of a ladies' man. Oh, is it? What is it? Is it? It's not Quagmire, is it? What is it? Yeah, yeah, we'll give it. Yeah, Quagmire. <laughs> what is, I can't say. Glenn Quagmire. Yeah, yeah Quagmire he's the fine. one that's. Um, yeah, he's got a dirty mind. Yeah, he's yeah. got a dirty mind. He's sitting with Carl. He's sitting with Carl Morton on three. So you're sitting with a, a former legend of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Question eight. Odyssey number no. five is an album by which Australian rock band? They're a pretty big. They're a pretty big band, so that's not some little pub. Band. Oh, me, mate, I, I listen to Gold One Hundred Four. That's about it. Um, what is it? Odyssey oh, Number Five. I don't want to answer, so I might be sound stupid. Um, uh, <laughs> you have a guess. You got me here, mate. I know nothing about music. Okay, it was Powderfinger. Powderfinger. Oh, I didn't go. know that was Australian. There you anyway. go. They're from Brisbane. <laughs> there you go. They're from Brisbane. <laughs> Uh, question nine. Uh, isn't some more footy ones for you? Uh, Tom Libertore, Jack Zebel, and Jude Bolton share which AFL record? I reckon you can get this. Um, Think about the way they play, Joe. Uh, most tackles in a season? Oh, there's most tackles in a game. Oh, that's what I said. I said game. It must have been the sound. Just yeah. <laughs> well, just because you're an Essendon player, I'm just going to give you a point. So there you go. Hey. <laughs> How many tackles in a game? I think it was 17 18. or 18. I think it was 18 or yeah. 19. Crazy. Yeah. My, my thing on good tacklers is that if you're a good tackler, it means you've never got the footy. Yeah. 
It's true. Pretty hard to tackle yourself, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's like a so you're saying you're saying none of those players are any good. <laughs> I just, I'm taking the piss. That's why I say to my mates at the local footy, they say, oh, I have them for so many tackles. I said, mate, if you tackle on everyone, mate, amazing you've got the frigging ball in your hands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's, That's good true. now, tackling. But I wasn't a tackler, mate. I, was, I couldn't tackle. Uh, uh, you're a user. Right. Yes, I was a user. Uh, Correct. Final question, question 10. Uh, according to the stats website, AFL tables, how many Brownlow medal votes did you have in your AFL career? Oh, <laughs> I got no idea. Um, this will sound funny. Is he gonna? Are you gonna overinflate yourself, or are you gonna devalue yourself? Uh, One thousand three hundred fourteen. <laughs> no, I reckon it was. I reckon it was only about maybe high twenties, thirty about there. Um, You've actually lowballed. It's 45, so... Oh, 45, yeah. I don't know. I didn't get too many votes, mate. There you go. Not, that's not bad. You got a, you got 11 in 2000, which is pretty good. I did, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I missed a few. I should have got a few more that year, but anyway. When you've got yeah, Herdy and yeah. Fury and Long on your side, mate, it makes it hard to get real low votes, doesn't it? Exactly. Everyone got votes that year, Rob. Yeah. There you go. Well, look, I'm going to give you half a point for the most tackles. So, Joe Mercedes, oh. you've ended up on 3.5. Means you're not, the, si- not the worst, mate. Not you're, the sitting, worst. you're sitting below... Uh, Saul, Sandy Roberts, Dennis Armfield, and Russell Robertson, but you're above Kyle Morton and Alex Johnson. So you're in, you're in, you're in good company there. You're in good company there. 